Hey guys, welcome back to Dude We Can Fix It. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brake pads and rotors on your Toyota Camry. So I have some 3 16 inch internal diameter vinyl tubing here. I'll place over the nipple here for the brake caliper. Now I will use a 5 16 wrench to loosen up this bleeder. And now I'll place the C-clamp one end on the caliper and this end will actually go on the brake pad. And I will compress this caliper and it will push this fluid out and that will keep it from backing up under and causing back pressure. So now I will compress this piston until it's nice and flat and I'll allow this brake fluid to escape into this drain pan. Once this piston is all the way compressed, you'll find some resistance on your C-clamp. At that point, stop compressing it, take your C-clamp off. Now you can tighten up your bleeder screw and you can remove your tubing. Now you will need a 17 millimeter socket to take out this one bolt back here. It's located right there. All right, now that we have this bolt out, go ahead and set it aside. We will need to take this 12 millimeter bolt out so that we can set loose the brake line. Pull this brake line loose, take our caliper here, rotate it up and push it back and off of the pin and we can set this off to the side. You want to set it somewhere that the caliper is rested and is not putting tension on this brake line. Sometimes you may need to tie it up with a piece of wire. Now we can go ahead and remove our brake pads. Set them off to the side and now we're ready to remove our caliper bracket. For this, we will need a 14 millimeter socket. There are two bolts holding this caliper bracket on. One bolt located here and the other bolt located here. To access the top bolt, you can either use a wrench if your ratchet and socket does not fit or you can remove this top bolt here. So I'm going to remove this top bolt. And when I say remove, you don't have to remove it all the way. You just push it just enough to where you have clearance. Swap back to your 14 millimeter socket and take out the top bolt. Now you can remove and clean your caliper bracket. At this point, you should be able to remove your disc brake rotor. Make sure that your parking brake is off if it is not coming off easily. It's still not coming off. My parking brake is off. So now I may need a hammer. So I'm going to tap around the perimeter to try to loosen this up. There we go. Brake rotor is off. At this point, we can inspect the parking brake shoes on the inside of here. These do not tend to wear out as they are not used during your normal braking. They are only engaged when you are using your parking brake. Take a look at them. Make sure that they're all good. Nothing, nothing bad going on there. They're not worn out. And then clean up your hub here and get ready to install your new brake rotor. All right, now we're ready to put on our new brake rotor. Now, if you have a brand new brake rotor like this, you should be aware that these come oiled. So you're going to want to clean this surface here and the other surface here that the brake pads contact. You're going to wash them down with some brake parts cleaner to remove that oil film before you install this. So, put that on there. Next, we will reinstall the brake caliper bracket. If you have new hardware, go ahead and install it. If you don't, clean up the existing hardware. And also, we will be lubricating this with brake and caliper grease. However, I will go ahead and install this first to not make a mess. Tighten those two bolts up with your 14 millimeter socket. If you remove this nut and bolt here, you go ahead and reinstall that. 
Go ahead and use your brake and caliper grease to lubricate this pin here. I'll also lubricate this bore on the caliper. And now we will slide it over the pin. There we go. Now we can lift this up and reinstall our brake pads. And now we are ready for our other pin. We will lubricate this. And install it down here. Tighten that up with a 17 millimeter socket. All right. Now we will replace our flexible brake hose and put this 12 millimeter bolt back in to hold it in place. There we go. And now we can place our tire back on the vehicle. So now that we have the new brake pads on, we need to pump the brake pedal to make up the distance that we compress the piston. So pump this a few times until it firms up. There we go. So now find your brake fluid reservoir. Check the level on the side. Make sure it is at max. If it's not, add some brake fluid and you're all set. All right, that's how you replace the rear brakes on your car. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your bell notifications for future videos. I'll see you next time.